You know, folks, I was going to do an audio on this, but I figured, well, since I, you know, want to save my computer a little bit for when I do audio, might as well do a video on it. Now, a lot of you pretty much know that this is the Sally plush that I purchased um, many years back, basically about four or five years back, still in good condition as you can see and if anybody's curious I paid 250 off for this off eBay so yeah for the, anybody that wants to know you better save up your money to um, to buy one they're very rare um, anyway the situation about this character here which has gotten a lot of people's attention um, quite a bit if you will Trying to stand her up here or something. There we go. You probably can't see her too much. But anyway, the one thing that's gotten people's attention about her recently, over the past few months, ever since I guess you could say December. few months trying to make sure uh, you guys can see at least her head here. There we go. But the thing that well oh, maybe old. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. There we go. But again the one thing that's gotten people's attention about her over the past few months since about December I should say uh, it's due to the fact that many people uh, don't trust the fact that of what's going to happen. Now, I'm not trying to be biased here or anything. I mean, I've come out and I've said I'm a fan of the character. I've said I've, I've come out and I said I'm a fan and of the pairing of her and the Hitchhog, if you will. But you know, here's the thing. A lot of people have come out on many forums, even here on YouTube, and either they've been defending her, either it's been rudely defending her, and which they have a right to, and I'm not trying to say they don't, because what she did in 230, written by Ian Flynn, was a good thing, even though it would turned out bad, it was a good thing. Um, there's some fans at other forums out there that kind of feel that, you know, are kind of hoping, well, let me just put it this way. Basically, these people at these other forums are more or less, anytime you try to talk about what's going on, they kind of mockingly talk about the character and characters like her. And I'm pretty sure that goes for any forum out there. It's not just the one forum I'm talking about, but there's many forums out there that are like that. But here's why, in my opinion, fans attack characters, characters like her after the characters like her are put into situations to where you don't know for what amount of time um, they're going to be a villain or villainous even if you know it's temporarily temporary you don't know how long that time frame is going to be for that temporary switch well a lot of people have been basically you know, throughout the history of comics, attacking characters that are in that position. Because these are characters, as they put it, that they feel are Mary Sue's and whatever the male equivalent is, again, the John, the John Doe's or the Gary Sue's or whatever you want to call them. But basically, the reason fans attack them is because they know, as much as they would like to see one thing go one way, they know eventually characters like this are going to return to normal and they and return to the side of good and they don't want that they don't want it they're basically basically the reason people will attack them is not just because of the jokeness to make fun of and mock no 
It's basically because they don't want characters like her returning to the uh, to the forefront, if you will. But basically, that's what this whole thing is. You know, they don't want characters like her returning uh, to the forefront. Because of that very reason. They, they don't want it. And to be honest with you, they, they don't want it. So, I mean, I mean, honestly, you can't really blame them sometimes, but, you know, they got to accept it. Now, I'm pretty sure when, uh, when Jean Grey went and became the Phoenix, you know, there were some fans that were hoping Jean Grey would stay that way, and, and technically in a way she has, but she's on the side of good still. You know what I'm saying? Basically, the situation is this. Now, I'm sorry for any lines you may see in the tape right now, but basically the situation is this. Characters that, that are put, characters like her, that are put in... in the situation that they're put in, put in is, if people would say, it's for dramatic effect. It's sometimes for, you know, getting that character over with the people, with newer fans, and with those that are against her, or against them. You know, that is why you have you know, stories like what's going on with the characters and the situations they're going in. But that's why you also have people that are against it. You know, that's why you have people that are against it being, you know, basically making fun of it and mocking it because they know, they know something, because they basically know that, I think, the more they mock, honestly, in closing, the more they mock, I think the more they know that character is going to return, and they don't want it, but they know it's going to happen. That's why they continuously mock and make fun of. Yeah, they have a right to do that, because they want, and because they have the right to want something else, that's great. But I think it's because they mock. Because, but basically, in closing, like I said, the reason they do it is because they know something. They know that character is going to return to the side of good and return to normal, whether it's a new design or not. So, that's all I'm going to say. I'll talk to you all later.